The open pit is a true feat of engineering. A 4,200 meter peak once stood here. Now, workers are digging deeper and deeper to reach the body of ore. Kumto is one of the highest deposits in the world. Only in Peru is gold mined in similar conditions. The sight of the Kumto open pit inspires different reactions in visitors. Some are scared by its depth, while others admire modern man's ability to transform landscapes, making them meet his own requirements. I am in the so-called gold pit. This is the bottom, where the extremely high-grade gold ore lies. A blasting operation will be conducted today. Preparations are underway behind me, and a total of 152 holes will be drilled and filled with explosives. In a few hours, this place will cease to exist. You can't do without blasting and mining. In order to mine ore, you need to crush up rock, compressed over millions of years into an unmanageable mass. Otherwise, no equipment could operate here. Why are you blasting precisely at this point? Is it because this is waste rock or because it's high-grade ore? This is an ore zone, but the entire area has to be blasted, regardless of whether it's waste rock or not. The gold content varies by section. Sometimes when they reach high-grade material, Kumtor employees can mine ore containing up to 200 grams per ton. But this isn't typical. Even at 10 grams per ton, the ore can be classified as high-grade, while lean ore may contain less than one gram per ton. Three to four grams per ton is good enough. But to get to the gold ore, you have to remove millions of tons of waste rock. That's why year after year, day after day, blast after blast, the miners are steadily moving towards their target, the ore body. When you are here, you can see clearly that there is no cheap gold. Samples are taken by geologists from every hole and immediately sent to the assay lab for examination, after which the gold content of the samples will be known for sure. In addition, the geologists note the hole position data. A satellite helps them to do so. The purpose of this will become clear a little bit later. You're making a hole, aren't you? Yes, I am. How deep is it? About 9.6 meters deep, you have to drill every hole. What do you put inside? First a primer, and then a standard explosive. We plant them in a specific way and fill them up. The explosive is liquid. It's transported in special trucks. To perform one blast, you will need between 7 and 12 tons of the explosive. The open pit keeps operating while the site is being prepared for the blast. There are currently about 100 truck, shovel, grader and loader operators working in the pit. There are also drillers and blasters, adding an additional 60 to 80 people. Arbek Mantayev is a veteran employee at Kumto. He began working for the mine in 1994 and worked at the construction of the gold mill. Later on, he was transferred to the mining department. One could say that he's come a long way from being an ordinary worker to a senior mine foreman. As you see, I feel good about myself, my position, and my working conditions. Like 95% of the company employees, Arukbek Mantayev is a Kyrgyz citizen. Moreover, 70% of those working for this mine are Isikul residents. They easily handle sophisticated equipment used in the open pit. All these heavy-duty caterpillars, or cats as they are known here, graders and giant Liebherr shovels.
So, how long have you been working as a shovel operator, Talaybek? Since the day the shovels arrived at the mine site. For how many years? Three years now. Where did you work before? Oh, I was a cat operator. Ah. How long does it take one to learn how to handle equipment like this? Six months or so. Okay. Is this your cab? Mm, yes, it is. May I get in? Sure, you can. This one will lift the boom. So, that's the joystick you use to control the bucket? Yes, yeah, yeah, to lift or lower it. And what about this one? Uh, this one here, uh, it's used to turn the turret platform. Ah, the one we're in now? Yes, yes. I see. It's all automated and easy to handle. All you need to do is learn. Yes, yes, you just have to learn. Modern mining equipment requires more than just the ability to drive. One has to keep abreast of advanced technologies, including GPS. GPS enables mining controllers to coordinate equipment operation effectively across the mine site. For example, while approaching a shovel, a truck signals that it is ready for loading. After having loaded, a shovel's computer will say that loading should be stopped. That's why people handling joysticks in a shovel are called operators, not drivers. Waste rock containing no gold will be removed to waste dumps. A total of 160,000 cubic meters is removed daily to the waste dump. That's 80,000 cubic meters in each shift, or 500,000 tons of waste rock. The gold ore, in turn, will be delivered to the crusher. A crusher looks pretty much the same as a household meat chopper, only bigger. It pounds rock to the required size and, after that, the ore is sent to the mill. But let's return to the blasting site. Everything is ready over here. In accordance with safety rules, the open pit and all adjacent areas are to be evacuated before the start of blasting operations. When everything and everyone has been moved to a safe place, the chief mining foreman permits blasting. Go ahead. Thank you, everybody. Give the all clear signal. The first to come to the blasting site are the explosive experts, whose duty is to see whether all the explosives went off and make sure there is no danger to humans or equipment. Equipment arrives next, followed by geologists. The geologists are holding a special satellite-based device enabling them to locate holes. From the blast, the assay lab has processed samples previously taken from these holes. The exact outlines of the ore body are now known. It is for this purpose they use satellite marking. Here is the high-grade ore, and there's lean ore. Do you see the difference? Sure I do. The gold content of ore is indicated by the color of bands attached to different points of the blasting site. High grades, or sections containing high-grade ore of 10 grams per ton or more, are marked with green bands. Next come medium grades, or sections containing ore of 5 to 10 grams per ton, such a section is marked with green or red. Medium grades of up to 5 grams per ton are marked red. After all the sections have been marked by an ore control officer, equipment will arrive and shovel operators will begin loading ore according to markings. For safety reasons, blasting operations are conducted only in the daytime. Production at Comtor never stops. Work is in full swing day and night.